Extremely excited to be here. It truly is a, an honor and a privilege uh, to, to one, be at, at such a, an unbelievable university and, and the opportunity to work with a great man. Someone who's been very influential in my life, uh, not only as a player, but as a coach. And so I'm extremely excited about the opportunity. Uh, I think anytime you get the opportunity to come to, the, the, to this conference, um, you know, the best in college football, well, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. I'm looking, uh, I'm very excited and looking forward to the opportunity. My family's excited. They're getting down here in, a, in about two weeks. And so we'll, we'll be uh, off and running. And the community has been fabulous. Uh, it has been everything I expected and more. And I'm looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you and uh, everybody in the community as well. So with that, I'll, I'll let you guys ask some questions. Uh, Robbie Falk with 247 Sports. What, outside of just working for uh, Coach Moorhead, what kind of interested you the most about getting in the, back into college football and uh, specifically at Mississippi State and SEC? Well, you know, you know, start uh, kind of work backwards there. You know, the opportunity to be in the best conference in, in all of football was an exciting opportunity and challenge. Uh, Mississippi State is, is, is someone that, you know, a university that, that I've watched my whole life and been have affiliation with and, and, and excitedness with the SEC football. I mean, it's it, like you said, it's all it, it's all exciting brand of football and coming from the National Football League where there's SEC players all over the place. Um, but the opportunity to come back and work with Joe was 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 definitely the number one thing for me. Uh, like I said, he is very influential in my life. Uh, uh, when I was getting recruited as a, as a young quarterback in high school at the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, Joe was a graduate assistant there, and so our relationship, you know, kind of started way back then. And then I got the opportunity to play for him again at Akron. Um, had the opportunity to coach for him as my first coaching job I've ever had. Uh, so our relationship goes way back. The success that he's had, uh, the evolution of his offense uh, from where it was when we were back in Akron in 2008 to where it is now is something that I really wanted to get around and learn more from and be a part of as well. And then, you know, hopefully the experiences that I had, I, I you know, feel like I can add to it. Hey, hey Luke, Will Simmons with McLaren Ledger. Uh, how difficult was that decision though to leave Green Bay for you? I mean, what, was it hard? Like, what do you have to weigh as far as like yeah. that being an attractive gig as well? Sure, no, it's, I mean, the Green Bay Packers, there's not, I mean, it's one of the best organizations, if not the best in all professional sports, I mean, the community there, you, everyone here would relate really well to it. It's very similar. I mean, it's a college town, at like atmosphere within a professional uh, arena, and and so it was tough leaving the community. It was tough leaving that organization. I mean, it is as well run of an organization as there is, and and and, and again, most importantly, it's really it was really hard to leave Mike McCarthy, uh, someone who had taught me in four years more than than I had probably in my entire career. Um, He's inspired me to have the desire to be a head coach, uh, both with his personality, with his leadership skills, and he, he kind of showed me the way and, and proved to me that I can be who I am and have a lot of success doing it. And so um, I have you know great regard for, for him. And so extremely difficult decision. Uh, but again, you know, I'm young enough in my career where opportunities or what you know what I have to you know look at, and then you know another thing that's really important to me is uh, I wasn't going to leave a great man and not go work for another great man, and I truly believe in Joe Moorhead, the person first, and then secondly his leadership skills and abilities. Um, you know I, I truly believe in in him. So I mean it made the decision to come here easy. It made the decision to leave Green Bay really hard. Logan Lowry, Super Low Daily Journal. Joe had said today that he was hired, that he would be the guy calling the plays on, on game days. How, did, how will that dynamic kind of work? Have y'all talked about that yet? No, it'll honestly be very similar to where I just came from, is how I see it. You know, the, uh, the head coach has a lot of responsibilities and a lot of hats to wear. Yes, he's going to be the play caller on game day, and it is his offense first and foremost. Um, but the, the, the importance of the leadership of the offensive coordinator is critical in a situation mm -hmm. like this because – you know, he's not going to be able to do everything that he did at Penn State as far as the commitment to the offense. And it's my responsibility to, to be, you know, the second hand, his second hand man, you know, his right hand man, always there to, uh, you know, think alike, 
act alike, and hopefully lead alike. Coach uh, Steve Robertson with Jeans Page 247. It's a little different dynamic having a wide receiver coach you know, be an offensive coordinator. But what kind of do you, what kind of hand have you been dealt here personnel-wise? Have you had a chance to do any evaluations on any of that? Yeah, I mean, very little, to be honest with you. And, and, and it's a little bit uh, on purpose on my behalf because I want to I want to give these young men every opportunity to prove uh, their personalities and their abilities to me and, and, let, and let me kind of create my own vision of it rather than uh, listening to somebody else tell me how good or how not so good a player is. So I'm very open-minded. Um, I think when you look at our football team, you know, as you walk in that locker room, it's in a very impressive looking, uh, looking football team. So I'm excited about that. I've gotten to know the receivers very well. Uh, not enough of the rest of the team very well, but the ex receivers I'm extremely excited about. Um, I think they're all very passionate men, and uh, I'm excited to get to know them even more. But I think there's a, there is a, a lot of very good young men that we can we can have a lot of success with here for sure. Uh, Brett Hudson with the Columbus Commercial Dispatch. Uh, you've also got a run game and a pass game coordinator. How will those duties kind of be divvied up in a game week? Who does what? And how do you all work together to craft a, a game plan for Joe to call? Yeah, I mean, here, here's the thing. I mean, it, it's a collaborative effort is, is how I've put it. Joe is, is, the, is the lead dog. And what he, uh, you know, we are here to support him. We are here to give him every bit of information that we possibly can so he can call the best game every single Saturday. Um, my responsibility is to kind of just be in charge of overseeing the whole thing. And then each guy has their own responsibilities in specific areas that they have to dominate. And that's, and that's the vision of it. Um, and, 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 and let me just say this too, that it's been, I've had a great time getting to know all those guys in that offensive room. I think we have a very talented group of men and I'm extremely excited about working with all those guys. Um, they're talented, they communicate, and, and uh, I think the, the, what's most important is that we all have one vision, and that's to make this place pretty special. And we're willing to do whatever we have to do to do it. So it's been a great, it's been a great couple months for me working and getting to know those guys. Uh, Taylor Rayburn with the Reflector. Um, coming from the NFL, how's the adjustment been off field in regards to recruiting? Yeah, I mean, most of my career before going to Green Bay has been college, so it's not like it's foreign. Um, is it? Is it? Uh, does it take some getting back used to? Yes, you know, I got to get back into the Twitter world and all that stuff like that. Uh, but uh, like I said, most of my career has been in the college game, and and as far as relating to young men, I mean, that's my profession. That's what my passion is. That's what I love to do is to help lead these young men. So I have. I'm, I'm extremely extremely excited to get to be around these young men and hopefully uh, help influence them in positive ways. So. Uh, it's been it's been exciting, and you know the recruiting part of it has been fun. Getting to be around high school coaches. Uh, my brother's a high school coach. My two brothers-in-laws were high school coaches. My dad was a high school not football, but he was a high school coach his whole his whole life. So you know it's it's something that that, that I've that I truly enjoy being around. Obviously, you're experiencing the the Moorhead offense, and Andrew and Coach Huff are as well. How, how does that uh, I guess intimate knowledge of his system kind of influence how y'all install it in, in meetings in the springs and teach it no it's it's i think it's important anytime you're starting fresh you, you know you, you you know that's what we're doing right now we're kind of going back to ground zero and we're building it building from the foundation up and we you know we're cleaning things up we're making things exactly the way coach sees it so that we all are seeing it the exact same way and i think anytime that you have guys who have experience in it you know there's there's things i'm able to reflect on there's things that coach briner's able to reflect on Coach, uh, Coach Huff, as you mentioned. So anybody who's been around the offense, there, there, there's, there's a, uh, advantages to um, you know, having that past history that we can reflect on and then make really good decisions moving forward about what's best for the offense. David Murray, Gene Space 24-7. How much is it helping you, particularly in the coordinator role, that Coach Moorhead did push the spring training back two weeks and give you that much extra time, not yeah. just to get to know your staff, but to get an idea of how to attack spring? Sure, it's huge. I mean, it's, it, it's definitely a big benefit for us. Uh, it gives us a little bit more time to get to know our players more importantly than anything else. Um, and then it gives us a little bit of time to get them prepared so they can go out and have some success in the spring. So that, uh, you know, us not starting until March 20th is, is really going to be a big benefit for us so we can have a very successful spring.